Hey, what's up? It's Hunter from Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about page weight. So, let me flip over here to the screen capture. And I've got a page here open about our WordPress hosting and maintenance packages we have available. Feel free to go check those out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the Chrome Developer Tools in um, by right clicking on the web page and hitting inspect or you can press F12 um, or however you prefer to get there but uh, I've got those open I've come over here to the network tab in the Chrome developer tools and what I'm gonna do is just gonna hit F5 and refresh this page and let me come over here to the all selection so we can see kind of all the resources that have been loaded and I'll bring your attention down here to these kind of two sections here called transferred and resources um, so these are what would be referred to as kind of the page weight so the page weight is the size in either kilobytes or uh, megabytes, however you want to express it. Um, I most often hear people refer to them, the page weight as a size in megabytes um, because most pages are going to be at least one megabyte or more um, on the web these days unless they're just crazy optimized or very minimalist. Um, so a page weight is going to be just the, you know, amount of data that is downloaded as part of uh, rendering and showing that web page on uh, in the browser. So we can see here that um, you know there's there's two things there's the transferred size and then the total size and resources. So this transferred size is a size of um, resources that were transferred in compressed format and this was the total size of those resources after they'd been unzipped or decompressed and rendered on the page. Um, so I'm going to come over here to the page here and I'm going to hit Control F5 and hard reload the page. And what this does is it completely clears the cache of everything that's already been downloaded and re-downloads everything from scratch. So I just kind of wanted to illustrate there, you know, we saw that the um, size of transferred resources was around 500 KB previously, but now this has jumped up to 1.8 megs transferred. Um, and you know, what that really uh, means is that like when there was, it was a completely cold reload, as in the first time that your uh, visitor has come to your site, the first web page they land on, is usually going to be a lot heavier in terms of page weight or total size of resources transferred over the network than subsequent loads and that's because you know things like this logo here have already been downloaded um, style sheets JavaScript files the additional things that are kind of in the background not really apparent to the user as part of the presentation of the website have already been downloaded once so they don't need to be downloaded again um, they'll be stored in the browser's cache and they'll just be pulled directly off the machine of the person who's browsing on the website, which saves a lot of time, renders tons faster, and um, you know it's just good to have those resources cached. So I'll just go ahead and refresh this page once again with F5. Um, so this won't be a hard reload, this will be like a, a second browse of the page. And we can see that, you know, back the uh, transferred resources went back down from 1.8 megs to 54 kilobytes transferred so huge savings in um, you know number of resources that need to be downloaded and transferred over the network um, which is huge like on desktop this is going to load pretty fast but on a mobile device page weight can have a huge impact um, and it's probably the number one thing that you need to optimize if you're trying to reduce your page load times. And just to illustrate that here, I'm going to come over here and throttle the network to a fast 3G connection, um, fast mobile 3G connection, and I will hard reload the uh, web page with control and F5.
and you can see it's still loading, still rendering, still rendering, still downloading stuff. You know, we had 1.8 megs. There we go. Boom. So like, you know, this DOM content was loaded in six seconds and had a 13 second load time on um, a fast 3G connection, which is just, it's too long, um, quite frankly. And um, if I come back to online, which is just going to use the raw internet connection that is available over the fiber connection that I'm on and hit control F5, we can see that that's, you know, lightning speed. Um, we've got DOM content loaded in 1.6 seconds and a complete load in 2.37 seconds. So, I mean, a fifth of the time. Um, and that was a hard reload. So now if I secondary reload while they've got those resources in cache, we can see those load times come down even further. Um, but you know, the page weight is going to be one of the strongest influences on load time. And you know, there's a number of things that can influence that page weight other than just kind of like the images on the page. Um, you know, for instance, um, like this image here uh, at full size is 2560 pixels. So it's very wide. It's meant to span the full width of a desktop browser. But if I browse this um, page on a mobile um, iPhone uh, view and kind of reload it, it's going to be a lot smaller and therefore it's going to take less resources and time. Um, and I actually have not optimized this page and I need to go ahead and optimize it, but I'll actually go ahead and do that right now. So the problem here is that this image is going to be loading a full 2560 um, background. So that's just humongous. Um, so if I come here and look at this image, that's the background image here. open in a new tab you can see that it's gigantic it, it spans the full width of the desktop browser here um, go ahead and inspect it real quick We can see that this is a 2560 pixel wide and 800 wide pixel image. But you know, I'll give, go ahead and show you kind of like a way that we can like optimize these images to reduce the page weight. So let me go ahead and sign in to this site. I'll do this on the side screen here. And I'll come back out here to this page. Let me go ahead and launch the page builder that I'm using. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it into responsive mode. shrink the size of this div so it's more mobile friendly and I'm going to select this photo and then I'm going to change it to a large um, so like the full size photo here is 2560 by 800. Um, and then I've got several um, pre-built sizes that um, a plugin here in WordPress is going to resize those photos into just like some delineations. You know, you can do this a number of different ways or a developer can do this a number of different ways to kind of optimize these images. But, you know, basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna say if the device width is a mobile device, 
load a large size image that's 1024 by 320 rather than loading a 2560 by 800 photo. Now if I uh, go ahead and publish this, I come back out here to our page weight uh, developer tools, look at the images, and I'll go ahead and refresh. redock this we've got WordPress Internet's header and you can see right here that this was served from the memory cache when I look at the size. So I'm gonna go ahead and hard, hard reload this page. And you know we can see that this was a 165 kilobyte transferred over the network image when it's on the, the desktop um, size and 181 KB total. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back into mobile mode and I'm going to hard refresh this page. And we can see here that this um, image is now downloading the um, 1024 by 320. You can see there's a little uh, dash 1024 by 320 JPEG here on the image. So we've downloaded the 1024 wide um, size of this image and this is a 50.4 KB so you know roughly a third of the size of the image that was being downloaded originally on this page on a mobile view so you know we've significantly reduced the size of the image in the background here that's being downloaded and that's going to significantly reduce the page weight and decrease the load times and we just did that on this image right here um, you know, there's a number of different things you can do. Like if you do this across all the images on your web page, then it will um, continue to reduce that page weight substantially um, and decrease those load times. Uh, kind of another thing that you know I, I've got a plugin to manage this process, but um, you can do what's known as lazy loading. So if we scroll down this page even further, we see there's an image here. We've got an image here and that's it but like these images when we initially load the page are not viewable by default um, so we only see what's above the fold here and you know if you do not have lazy loading on your site then it's going to download eagerly it's called eager loading all the images that are needed to render that web page um, if you really want to optimize kind of your initial page weight download, you want to defer the loading of those images until they are absolutely needed, and that's called lazy loading. Um, so, you know, I've already got this uh, rolling on this page, and I'll just quickly kind of show you the effect of that. So, I'm going to control F5, reload um, that page, and um, come back to all here. Actually, I'll leave it out on, or yeah, I'll come back to all, or I'll leave it on images actually. And you can kind of see there's like a couple images here that's like lazy placeholder.gif. So it downloaded a minimally sized 354 bytes. So that's just like teensy little bit of um, size. And as we scroll down this page, you'll see these images, particularly the, the, the hair as I scroll down to this next part, it'll flash in at the last second and you'll see a little bit of like, oh, you didn't even see it. It was it was loaded too fast. But you know, this is this was loaded secondarily, and we saw that the uh, resources transferred over the network has increased as we scroll down. And then now we can see that um, where is our dash? dash purple has been downloaded. Let me just go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, 
So you can see down here, dash purple is the name of that file and it has not been downloaded yet. And we're at 192 KB transferred. And as we scroll down, dash purple will be downloaded. So that's the lazy loading of the page. Let me do that one more time actually. Oh, okay, there it is, 124 requests. So this one must be just small enough that it's not increasing this transferred size um, up another megabyte. But I would expect this to go up as you scroll down and load more images on the page. And I can kind of demonstrate that a little bit better here on this page. So let me go ahead and hard reload this. So as we scroll down, more stuff will be downloaded. There we go, the megabytes transferred just went up. And you'll definitely see it here. So there's an accordion here and there's an image within this accordion. So you know, pay attention to this megabytes transferred. And when I click on this accordion, you'll see that a, a website screenshot is loaded and the megabytes transferred increases. Oh, okay. Looks like those were lazy, lazy looted as we scrolled past initially. Okay, so as I scroll past the accordion, they'll be loaded. see that uh, transferred number go up all right so anyways I think that was a pretty good overview of page weight um, again page weight in summary is the total size of the resources downloaded as part of rendering the web page um, you can use techniques like uh, changing the image size that's loaded on various device device widths and making sure that the um, page weight uh, images are opt optimized for kind of a responsive responding to the devices with um, uh, manner. You can make sure that your images are lazy loading and uh, you know there are more techniques of course to reduce the page uh, weight but um, you know we can keep the we'll save those for a future video. Um, if you can implement the uh, downloads of uh, the correct size and implement lazy loading, then that's going to give you pretty much the most bang for your buck. Uh, if you need help with getting some of this set up, we work on Word WordPress websites and do custom coded websites as well. Uh, so just reach out to us here at Tortoise and Hare Software and we can help get you uh, set up and get your website optimized, your pages loading fast, and uh, help take care of some of these page weight concerns for you. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let us know in uh, below and we'll be happy to answer anything, uh, clear up anything or uh, any other clarifications. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, definitely do not forget to subscribe because we'll be publishing all sorts of uh, cool content in the future and helping you be more successful on the web and in technical SEO endeavors. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time.